Hey everyone! In our last video, we explored a magical Photoshop trick for retouching skin, smoothing out areas, and removing blemishes like pimples or rashes. Today, we're taking it to the next level. In this tutorial, we'll dive deeper into advanced retouching techniques, focusing on enhancing skin texture even further. As you can see, the details are really coming through beautifully. Plus, we'll also learn how to create a Photoshop action. With this action, you can perform the entire process with just one keyboard shortcut. Excited? Let's get started. First, let's adjust the ratio of this image. For example, if we need it to be 16 by 9, select the crop tool or press C as a shortcut. While holding down the Alt or Option key, adjust the frame symmetrically on both sides. Next, in the Fill Settings, choose Generative Expand. This might take a moment, so I'll fast forward through the process. It's done. Photoshop beautifully fills the background on both sides. You can pick the best result based on your preference, but since the background here is almost solid gray, all three options look identical. Finally, press Ctrl or Command E to merge the layers. Now create a duplicate by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Select the layer and rename it to Smooth. Before applying any filters, don't forget to go to Filter, Convert for Smart Filters. This allows you to adjust the values later if needed. Once done, hit OK. Next, go to Filter, Noise and Median. The beauty of the Median filter is its ability to smooth out details while keeping the edges sharp and intact. Adjust the slider carefully, just enough to achieve a smooth finish without losing edge definition. Once satisfied with the result, click OK. To create the skin texture, start by pressing Ctrl or Command, Shift, N to open the new layer dialog box. Alternatively, you can hold down the Alt or Option key and click the new layer button. Set the mode to overlay and check the box for fill with 50% gray. Once everything is set, click OK. Before adding any filters, go to Filter. Convert for Smart Filters. This step ensures you can tweak the values later if needed. Then, head over to Filter, Filter Gallery, Texture, and select Texturizer. Choose Sandstone as the texture and adjust the settings until it looks perfect. Duplicate the background layer once more and place it at the top. Rename it to Original Texture. Then go to Filter. Convert for Smart Filters. Apply the High Pass filter and adjust the radius. This may vary depending on the image, but for this one, a radius of 2.3 works well. Finally, change the Blend Mode to Linear Light. Select these three layers by holding the Shift key, then press Ctrl or Command G to group them. Lastly, rename the Group layer to Retouch Skin for better organization. To recover highlights and shadows, go to the blending options by double-click this group layer and adjust the sliders for the underlying layer. Hold down the Alt or Option key and click on the slider to split it, allowing for a smoother transition. Adjust it until it looks just right, then click OK. Hold down the Alt or Option key and click the mask button to create a negative mask. Next, select the brush tool. B is the shortcut to select brush tool. Press D to reset the colors to default black and white and paint over the areas where you want the effect to appear. Look at how the texture starts to come to life. It's looking great, right? Feel free to adjust the texture's opacity to fit your needs. Experiment with it until it looks perfect. I prefer not to set the opacity to 100% as full intensity is often unnecessary. Instead, use the brush tool with a lower opacity such as 40% or 50%, or even lower when needed. You can build up the effect gradually by painting multiple times over specific areas with lower opacity. You can see some spots are visible here. It's because of we have put high pass filter to retain the original texture. Since we converted each layer to smart filters, we also have the flexibility to adjust the layers. Double click on high pass layer and you can see these spots are also came with the original skin texture. To fixing these spots, just select the original texture layer, 
add layer mask and press B to take the brush tool and paint only the spots area and it's gone. That's it. You're all done. Take a look at the before and after. Let's create a Photoshop action. With this action, you can perform the entire process we just completed using a single keyboard shortcut. First, open the Actions panel. If it's not visible in your workspace, go to the Window menu and select Actions. In the Actions panel, click on this option and choose New Set. Name the set something meaningful, like One Click Retouch Action. Next, click the Create New Action button. Name your action, for example, Retouching Action 1. Assign a shortcut key, such as F6. If this key is already in use, you can combine it with Shift, Control, or both. Once you're ready, click Record to start recording. You'll notice a red button indicating that the recording is active. From this point, every step you take will be recorded as a command in the action. Proceed carefully, as any unintended actions will also be recorded. I'll quickly run through the entire process to demonstrate. When you use this action, you might notice variations in how the effect is applied, as every image has its own properties, such as size and resolution. Feel free to adjust the values or opacity as needed. Since we've converted the layers to smart filters, making these adjustments is quick and easy. Our action is now complete, and all the commands have been recorded. Stop the recording by clicking the Stop button. Let's test this action on a new image and see the results. Open a new image and simply press the F6 shortcut key to run the retouching action 1. Within seconds, the process is complete. Use the brush tool by pressing the B shortcut and paint over the areas where you want the effects to appear. How does it look? Looks amazing, right? Now you don't need to repeat the entire process for every image. Just press F6 and you're good to go. I hope you like this video. Be sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to ring the bell so you'll always be in the loop for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, stay with us and never stop creating.